Let's go. Let's go. contender for the Vulcan shot of the day. Love that look from Andre Diaski jumping that line for the Ernie. Yeah. Now we have a cameraman getting kicked out. <laughs> Back at it. from Diaski. Two zero. Well, point. What do you think about that? Hunter kind of sneaking in to take a shot over, shot. far over onto the right side of the court. Three zero. He, he popped that up pretty high, so they have to, I mean, I think Wayne can get that one. Ooh, oh, nice little speed ooh. up from Dylan Fraser with his forehand. <laughs> inside out. Oh yeah, that's a that's a creepy little shot there. Yeah. Very effective, and with that, a 4-0 lead right Four in the zero. beginning yeah, of this game. Johnson and Frazier. Dylan One got a point. little off guard as the ball came right back to his face. First point on the board. Ooh. Big Ernie. Side out, point from five. Andre Diascu. It is so awesome to see him back on the court here yes. in Salt Lake City. Ahead by four. Five one. All right, oh, Blaine now too. being aggressive. I yep. think that's what he needs to do in order to yes. settle into this game piece. Then. He has to do that more, more of that. Two five. Five two. Yep. two five. Oh, we call that a body bag. <laughs> Six two. Dylan is just so quick with his hands. Point. And what people might not notice is that we're here indoors, but we are in, a, in an elevated location. Yes. Seven, Salt two. Lake City, we have high elevation, and so the ball is just fast. flying, and it's so <laughs> fast right now, and I love it. Yes. Indoor high altitude game is so exciting. Point. Another point for the Arizona Drive as they're ahead by six it's now. Eight, two. Point. Nine two. Uh, yeah. nice. Around the post. Point. Andre Diaski looking to call it out. Was it called out? But that ball was in. And it looks we'll like they're the gonna call. take a video the review. Call. The out call puts us yeah, they take a video 10, review. I love two. video. The That's video the review. The call is overturned. Yeah, like the new, um, the new uh, look. Of, I mean, the one on the corner. You have two mm -hmm. for video challenges remaining. You got three for challenges remaining. So yes, the ball, the call was overturned. 
So Johnson is going to go ahead and serve. They will take that point, very much needed. Good challenge by LA Mad Drops. Here we go. Coming in hot, Hunter Johnson, but Blaine is not at the line to finish it off. 10-3. Hunter stepping in again, trying to be aggressive. There we go, Hunter's coming in and not being careful, but being aggressive as he wants to put himself into, this, into these points for the LA Mad all right, a little momentum here for LA Mad Drops, two in a row. 5'10. Side out, point two eleven. And Andre Diaski stepping in big with that forehand in the middle. Point six. A little high on that backhand flick from Diascu. Hunter Johnson responding with six, a big 11. forehand. Set out, point 12. Andre takes a lot of those balls off the air. It's so what, which is kind of harder for the LA 12, club six. to get in the kitchen because he's not giving any room to let that ball bounce. <laughs> Great pressure from Arizona Drive and a missed drop. LA Mad Drops closing this gap. They were down by six. We got 8-12. 8-12. the speed up right into Hovenier. So that is a 13 at MLK. They switch something and make it a party. Here we go. Shots there, but finally Hovenier is able to put that forehand away right in the corner. So good. Frank 13. Biggest lead so far right now, ahead by seven. Arizona Drive is just taking this. And they remain aggressive. And a timeout is called by LA Madrops as they are down. And we're gonna do Dylan okay. in order for them to come up to the to the net because he Andrea is just taking a lot of stuff up the air and keep putting pressure to keep them back. So we'll see what they come up with. Great insight by Pesa. The man, the myth, the legend. Wow. Well, and an ATP from Diaskyu. Johnson giving a little too much angle there on that backhand cross court dink. 
to do a lot of work here in order to close this eight-point lead. 10-18. Let's see if they could drop over to Dylan to get to the net. Yes. There it is. There go. Oh, good spot. Nice. Yeah. From Blaine Hoven here. That's a great spot on Andre Deascu as he is backhand ready. And it's a tough shot to get to. It's called chicken wing. Oh, <laughs> Andre Deascu is just there and ready to unleash on that speed up from Johnson. Pretty hands. Johnson off the net and down for another point. They're doing a lot better at being a little more patient at the kitchen line and also having more quality deeps where they're a little bit more unattackable, right? right. And LA Mad Drops are a little bit more like anticipating the speed ups and they're a little bit in it more with the hand yes. battles. So if they could keep that up, they could definitely come back here in this game. This communication in the middle for a side out. 2014. Oh, oh no. Dylan Frazier taking that big <laughs> swing into the net. And in MLP, we play the doubles games to first to 25. If it goes to Dreambreaker, they play to 21. Oh, too big from Dylan Frazier. And we do have the freeze rule where, you know, if a team gets to 24, they have to win on the serve. Makes it very exciting. Point All right, only down by five now. They, they, LA Madrops were down by nine points yeah. not too long ago. Back. So 16, now 21. they're only down by five. It doesn't take much to really get back into this game. Let's see if they could stay focused. And especially with the MLB uh, scoring, anything could happen. Yeah. Wow. Oh, another <laughs> from Diascu. He holds it. And then makes the shot in. The hold is what's tricky. You know, you think he yeah. might dink it back, but. And that little ATB gave him the point, the side out, and two points away from the men's doubles game. Side out, point 17. All right, a lot of work here from LA Mad Drops. It needs to happen now. Seventeen twenty three. Here we are with our first game point of the men's doubles matchup. Wow. Oh. 
Kowalski with his third earning of the game to close out the men's doubles game is going to start. She is on the near side of your screen. Here we go. This is what? Yeah. <laughs> Arizona Drive putting the pressure on LA Mad Drops right away, not allowing them to come to the net. Great point. Stays in. And Catherine Crento, Jay Palmoto do the same. So look out for both teams keeping the serving team back on the side out. Them in. Seeing whichever team gets to the net, obviously, you know, has a good chance of getting to getting that point. Exactly. Two one. Side out point two. Two two. Getting them a point in the lead here early Three, on two. in this women's game. The mob. Kawamoto, such a stud on the court. She gets a lot of stuff back. Three, three, yes, she is a wall. <laughs> and great shot selection by Caitlin Christian right at the feet in the mid zone. Four, three. Ooh, the poach from Caitlin Christian out of nowhere. Sneaky little poach there. Five three. Steps behind the non volley zone to give her the time to do the counter punch. You know, Four, to five. see it and to react to it and hit. That's so good. Shout out, point six. Six four. The wall. <laughs> Jade Calvert is so consistent. Doesn't make too many aggressive six, six. plays, but she doesn't have to when she gets everything back. Right. Putting the pressure on her opponents. Point. All right, now LA Mad drops with a little one point lead here. It's been Seven, close six. so far. It on the replay, so if you could see something here. Eight six. Ooh, yeah, close call. But Hunter Johnson and the sideline insists that it was out. It's 
okay. They got the side out. Seven, Moving eight. on, you Moving know, on. you got to move point. on quick. You got to move on really quick in this game. You can't dwell on anything. You got to be mentally strong out there. And a good little slot from Catherine Parento, going right behind Lacey Schneeman. Nine, seven. Missed a shot? Yeah. <laughs> I know. Quite a bit of pressure from Christian. Side, but the ball just got away from her, giving a tight nine, nine. score here. Side out, point ten. This, this uh, game has been pretty close, Pesa. It's always yeah. only been by one to two points nine, nine. on either side. Pretty close matchup. I can't wait to see the duper predictions. I know, right? Nice little spot there from Caitlin Christian. Winding up on her backhand, going cross body to Jay Kalmoto. Catherine attacking down the line as always. Here and there does she attack cross court. Puts pressure in front of her at all times. And a missed return. You will see that here from some of the players who are not used to the altitude a little bit. The ball does get away from you. He barely, she barely hit that. He just goes. Nice. We were playing some uh, rec games earlier on, and yeah. I think I've missed the most uh, returns ever it's today. <laughs> Got to dial it in. All right, so we are at 13. All right, back at it, Catherine Parento on the far side for the LA Mad Drops to serve. Oh, great pressure from Jake Kaomoto. Notice that that ball was entirely fast. It was just beautiful accuracy. thinking Catherine Parento was going to speed up there, but goes behind her. What a great catch so from Catherine good. Parento. And the lob. Wow. wow, what a get from Jade Kawamoto. Now ahead by five. They've taken the lead now. Now they're, not, now they're not ahead by two anymore. Now it's by five. Oh, why not, right? Gotta stay, go for it. Yeah, gotta stay aggressive when you're ahead like that. You gotta just kind of let loose, keep applying the pressure. Arizona drive with the serve. And a little bang fest there. Yeah, that's so good. I always feel like a couple of those balls could have been going out. out. Oh, yes. yeah, like I way out. That. Oh, that's that's what you want. When you get a higher ball, you want to hit that ball down to your opponent so then they have to hit it back up again so that you can keep hitting down at them. Yes. And then there's balls like that when Catherine Prento doesn't leave it up, but also the ball's not going to stay up either. It's dipping really fast. Nice get. Oh, too good from Caitlin Christian. She takes the opportunity. 
put that ball away. Caitlin Christian. He's head out. 14-18. Nice from Christian. Brings it back to the LA Mad Drops. Remember, we're playing to 25. Ooh, and that one sails long. Saw a couple of those from Jade Kalamoto in this game. If I were Arizona Drive, I would definitely return back to her. Yes. Catherine Prento a little bit stronger with her drives and drops, and a little bit more of a veteran. And if I were Ellie Mad Drops, I would keep going to Caitlin Christian. She's been missing a couple of those thirds as well. So definitely some intentional um, returns to certain players exactly. in order to gain some easy points. But Jay Kalmoto able to make that third and the difference here for a time out. Arizona Drive to everyone here in Salt Lake. If that's okay, I'd like to see them. Yeah. They love celebrating it. And here we are, back into the women's game. With a switch. Lacey on the left. Oh. We'll see if that helps. Oh. And it works. Oh, good catch. They switched yeah. it up. You don't see that very often. No. In Major League Pickleball where they do the switch after the timeout. Yes. It's been working. Oh, yes, and it's been working. Lacey Schneeman could be more aggressive in this game if yes. she takes the left side. And that's what I feel like the game plan was here for the switch. And they got the point after the timeout. Two points after the timeout. And an unlucky net court. Because <laughs> they found a little momentum with this change. Salt Lake City, I know. Yeah. Okay. They're coming in hot. Now they're they're ripping a lot of stuff. Yeah, and they're only down by three. Yeah. Only down by three. Arizona Drive needs to push here. They need to make their third. They need to get up to the line. Oh, and that doesn't do it. That doesn't do it. That gives LA Mad Drops a game point here for the women's doubles matchup. 24-20. Oh, and they don't take it there. That gives the Arizona Drive another opportunity to close the gap and potentially to hide the game. Yes. Let's see if you get a few points here. Oh, oh my goodness. Unlucky off the net. Lacey Schneeman had it on her paddle, but the ball popped up off of the net game, giving LA Mad Drops the opportunity for a second 21. game point. Oh, 
Oh, oh that works. <laughs> Blake got away with murder there as he really <laughs> popped it up to Schmiemann, but Schmiemann was unlucky here. there, getting too low on the shot. <laughs> Drive. I've been seeing that a lot. People have been missing their third drive a lot yeah. today. It's not dialed in quite yet. One, one. And this is the elevation for sure. Mm -hmm. The matches and shots will get better as the weekend, you know, continues. Yep. This is just the first one on Grandstand Court and the first one for both teams of the weekend. Yep. Ooh, yeah. off the net and into the court. Jeesh. Yeah. I like, I like that he's playing very aggressive right now, taking a lot of middle ball, coming in with a lot of energy. Catherine Prento is such a good teammate. She's yes. like encouraging, she'll tell him what to do, and it's up to Blaine to really kind of respond yeah. and, and listen to what the veterans have to say. Um, you know, that's also being a good teammate, is being responsive to those who have been around the block a few times. Exactly. I'm telling you, missed returns and missed thirds. It's been uh, Four, two, kind of what I've been seeing here at Grand Sand Court today. Oh! Wow. Aggressive wow. play from both teams, but Blaine on top of that backhand. It's fired up. <laughs> Woohoo! He is there to counter with that one hander out in front. So clean. Oh, same guy. <laughs> yes. It is very hard with this format. Every single point Five counts. Three. Every single shot counts. Yes. You have the pressure every single time you hit the ball. What team could perform better under those circumstances with your teammates watching, with your managers watching, with your coaches? I mean, it's That's tough it. out there. It's a tough job. Four or five. Oh, that was a good look from Schneeman, but she misses wide on that deceptive forehand speed up. Five, six. looking for something there, but that ball was too low below the net in order to six, make something six. happen. Started off of the speed up from Catherine Parento, and she was able to reset. Andre swings it over to Blaine, and Blaine takes care of business. Right. Let's go. I love the chemistry. Seven six. Side out. Point seven. Guy again. Another follow up. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's really how consistent you could be. You know what I mean in this yes. format. God, be consistent. Seven. Point. Great serve on the last one. A lot of pressure there as now Arizona Drive is ahead by one. Eight, this seven. game has only been within one yeah. so far, so it's a tight matchup. Again, great pressure. Being up at the line as the returning team, being up at the line eight, eight. and applying pressure, pressure, pressure. Great strategy and good play. And again, now Diascio now putting the pressure on them. So your thirds have to be accurate. I'm telling you, yes. the thirds have to be on. 
Mm -hmm. Or else it's just going to be a battle of who could get the better fourth shot. And there's been a lot of side out. Ball's out for the year 2024, the year of the fourth shot. Something that people don't talk about often, mm -hmm. but the fourth shot, nine, like, nine. you either make or break it, you know? Exactly. Like, <laughs> Diascio, let's see it again. Let's see. That was off of the bounce. That's a good drop. That was a great drop. And then Andre Di Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. So even after he hit the ball, his momentum went into the kitchen. So great call by Ref over there. Okay. This is the first time in this game we have seen a two-point lead. It's been within one. So let's see if LA Hill drops it, could take it to a three-point lead. Get a little momentum. Oh, again, great pressure on the fourth and sixth shot. All the even numbers. <laughs> oh, and the ball is out. And Catherine agrees with that call. Let's see what it looks like on the camera over here on the replay. 11, 11. Yeah, yes. just wide. Here it comes. Andre wow. Diaski jumping that line. That has been yeah. the shot for it them. a lot. Yes. And it worked every single time. It works every time. Definitely the point of the game so far. <laughs> Andrea Daskew kind of flips it up, but there were so many defensive and offensive shots there. 13-11. Oh. Little net trouble there. 14-11. Now ahead by three. Right. Stays Reserve. in. Reserve. 14 11. Oh, oh. Daski coming in hot on that forehand poach. Oh, 15 11. Now Lacey coming in hot with no problem going down the line behind Hoven here. We have a little run here, Pesa. A five-point lead. Yep. They took it after the end change. Okay, here we go. LA Madrock responds. Let's see if they can get up to the net. 12-16. There's one. They were able to get up, work the point, and get the shot that they wanted, hitting down on their opponents. 13-16. Again. Well, Lacey Schneeman goes down the line, but a little unlucky on some of those net courts. Wow. LA closing net drops. Up. Yeah, they're closing the 14, gap, baby. 16. Let's go. Right now, Another third. Another, shot. Like you said, it's been a lot of uh, missed third. Not Rise. only from Blaine, but from everyone. From everyone. Like, Jade was missing them. Lacey was missing a couple. That's why you could always revert to that beautiful drop. Nice shot from Shaman. When someone hits a drop like that, and you can't put pressure anymore on the opponent, what shot do you have to hit back, Pesa? It's the dead ball. Just a dead deep, I, I mean, agree. Especially going down to your feet. And that's up to like, to a player too, 
the, as a, oh, oh no, there is a foot fault from Blaine. Let's see it there as he took the Ernie on the corner there. Yes, his oh, heel did hit the ground and a great eye from the ref. And a timeout is called for back Diaski to serve. This is the serve after the timeout. Let's see what kind of strategies Blaine and Catherine and impose here. And the Arizona drives a big serve. Sixteen nineteen. Cover from Lacey. The speed up there. I like that. Twenty sixteen. Another foot fault called on Blaine Avenir. Let's see it on the replay. He reaches over for that forehand, and his foot oh. is definitely <laughs> inside the kitchen line. The only way you know you're foot faulting is if you have a ref on the court. Yes. That's the only way, because when you're in the zone, you don't realize it, but Blaine is definitely going to be focusing on that now, which is going to be tough as they're already down. There's so many things to already think about. As an LA mad drop, what would you do? LA mad drop. I mean, they're they're doing it. They're doing it. You know, they're putting pressure on the opponents. I would probably uh, go behind Diaski to his backhand a little bit more yes. um, on the cross court. Let's see if he could. There you go. So that Catherine could get involved. They had it there. They had it there. But now ahead, 23-17. Do it when you're out. <laughs> 17, 18, 18, 23. Catherine and Blaine need to do this right here. We need to get the point. This is what I'm saying. They have to go behind to Diasco's back here. Mm -hmm. Or they could keep going there, insisting yeah. to go in there. I feel like Lacey was like, Lacey was like, oh, Andre, you're not going to take that? <laughs> He's been coming over. Right that, third, that third is crucial right now. 24-19. Third shot drive. Another one missed, but that's okay. They are ahead. They have a healthy 20, lead for the Arizona drive. Looking for the side out, and then they need one to serve for the game. saying like you gotta go behind and drag. She's covering so much on my forehand. Yes, there you go. They're in. Great spot. able to poke into the middle to get that little speed up and pop up and Lacey Schneeman to finish. So here they are with game point number two. Yes, let's see if they can close it up. 
Got that off the off the net. I thought it was done. <laughs> 22, 24. Oh, that's no, that is not the spot to go, Andreas. You have to be more patient, Blade. <laughs> Easier said than done, but hey, let's see if they can save game point number three. And they couldn't do it there. So they ask you and Schneeman take it. It's going to be pretty tough. Let's see if they can do it. Jade Kalamoto to serve. Wow, the defense was incredible <laughs> from Hunter Johnson. But... Frazier and Christian take that first point of the mixed doubles two matchup. We saw a lot of patience in that point. Yeah. And Hunter Johnson finally sees the ball and he couldn't help it. Yep. Had to speed up the ball. Caitlin Christian getting on the wow. ground to get out of the way. Christian was on the floor. Johnson, I call it controlled aggression. Yes. It, I mean, it's a good time to be aggressive, but you got to pick the spot, right? right. You got to pick five. something that makes the most sense, and that was a good ball from Hunter Johnson. And Dylan Frazier looking to get big, but misses wide. Great drop there from LA Mad Drops, taking five, it to five. a tie early on here in the mixed doubles two matchup. Ooh. I don't see a lot of consecutive oh, missed errors from, from Dylan. From Dylan. Yeah. Six five. He's got to pump it up right mm -hmm. here because this one counts. If they win this, they don't go to the Dreambreaker. I don't want to go to a Dreambreaker. No. Dreambreakers are are so emotionally and <laughs> physically yeah. draining. So let's see if they could close it out here. But LA Mad Drops already ahead by two points. Nope. She's there. Ooh, that was a... I like that shot from Dylan yeah. Frazier. It's not a speed up and it's not a deep. It's like, what do I do with this ball? Six, seven. I kind of lost it here. Yeah. 
He's like, what's, what's he's doing. he was so shocked that that ball came slow. Oh, I'm oh, going to call oh, that man. the Vulcan shot of the day. Hunter oh, yeah. Johnson it was in the middle of the court. And he clean shot there from Hunter Johnson. Beautiful. The Vulcan shot of the day. Thank you, Vulcan. What a hand. Oh, oh. Caitlin Christian with the defense. 7-8. Side out. Over time. That one sails long after what seems like 13 defensive <laughs> shots. This is a wall. Getting everything back. I'm telling you, I feel like the players are going to struggle nine. most this weekend with these thirds and getting up to the net with this high altitude and the ball sailing. It's very hard to control this ball right now. Yeah, and I think that's the reason why most of the players are ripping it because. Do it all over the court. <laughs> Don't take another look at that. Dylan Frazier, Caitlin Christian on the same side of the court. Dylan Frazier trying lost. to get this. <laughs> this scramble was real. Oh, wow. Beautiful. Caitlin Christian, a contender for the Vulcan shot of the day as she jumps the, the kitchen line and hits a gorgeous angle, pumping herself up at the Nine Arizona ten. Drive team. But Dylan Frazier wanted to look at that one as well. A beautiful drive popping up the fourth shot off of Jade Kawamoto's paddle. 11, 10. So, yeah, Hunter Johnson is there. He is ready. He wants to rock and roll. 11, 11. in this matchup. She's been consistent. She's been steady. She's been right behind Dylan Frazier just doing all the work. And she's been really stepping it up here for the Arizona Drive team. Ooh. <laughs> and there she goes yeah. with that high energy, right? Yeah. She's doing so well. She's just, you know, I, I don't mind that she does that. You know what yeah, I mean? Do what you need it. to do. She's feeling it, then go for it. I think Dylan was gonna drive that one and he ended up kind of like a drip. <laughs> Didn't want to hit his partner. As the ball whizzes by her and the LA Mad Drops are ahead by one point here. You know, just getting up to the line and working the point a little bit more. Jade hasn't seen a lot of shots. They're definitely targeting Hunter. Hunter, um, Hunter has been the one that's been targeted exactly. on this. Um, I mean, especially when she's in the center, like she just keeps making, like making those mid-court reset to get up in the kitchen. But Hunter plays his best when he's aggressive and he's yep. able to take over. Um, he is a single specialist, I believe. He's amazing oh, yeah. in singles, 13. so he wants to see the ball more. Right? And Jade Kamoto with a big serve. Now 
now LA Mad drops. Head by two. Shot from Jim Hamoto that misses in the net. 14 15. Only a one point game. The lob. Oh. It stays in. Perfect drop. Oh. But isn't able to get the drive down the line, passing Dylan Frazier. Yeah, that was all set up by the paddle of Caitlin Christian, who I feel has been playing amazing all game in this matchup. Off the net, Jade is there. Court battle between the ladies. Off the net again. Oh, 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 oh. Hunter Johnson getting to that ball, but missing the deep wide. Dylan Frazier, what an animal on the ground to retrieve that ball. And amazing play by both teams. Jade Kelmoto with a sexy looking backhand down the line behind Dylan Frazier for point. 16-16. The angle. Jade is there. Hunter to cover. And he finally got what he wanted. Yep. Hunter's been looking for that play this entire match, and that's going to spice things up for him. This is where his momentum is going to carry him. Ahead by one. Wow. Jade is there. And she's there again. Dylan Frazier goes ahead and punishes for the point and the side out. Amazing points here in the mixed doubles two matchup. Okay, the call stands, the ball was out, so that puts Arizona Drive down by one instead of two, which is super big. That's super big because we're nearing the end of this matchup. So here we go, Caitlin Christian. The speed up and a good spot from Hunter. 2018. Side out, point 19. This third from, this drive third from. 1920. 1920. 2020. Caitlin Christian again, she's there, Pisa. She's on it, yeah. 
That's hard to do, especially when your partner's like moving right in front of you. What a point. Hunter Johnson is calling the time out, being down by two points. Yep. They need this to go to the Dream Breaker. They need to come back. They need to win this to force it. Ooh. Wow. Hunter Johnson getting spicy, getting heated. They're only down by one. Yeah, it's going to be a tight one. Duper predicts one, that they're both gonna win. Yes. So let's see. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> I really need this one because they so far it is easily that one. Dylan Christian. Two hander down the line off the bounce behind Hunter Johnson. I love that shot. Beautiful looking 20, shot 21. for Arizona Drive. The ball oh. stays in, and that's gonna give Arizona Drive. The match point, this whole match, not only of this game, but the entire thing. Let's see if they can do it. Nice. Oh, Dylan Frazier looking to come in for that forehand deep misses. And that gives LA Drops an opportunity to close the gap. 22-24. Serving team that's ahead of, of 24. They are frozen. They have to win on the serve. Here's their second opportunity. Off the net. Another one. Four net courts in one single point. LA Madrops are able to save the second match point, Lisa. I know. Duper is right. <laughs> Nobody's going to win. <laughs> it's going to be a tie. <laughs> Frozen at 24. This is the third attempt at closing out the match. Can they do it? We got a loss of Vulcan Ball, but teammate Blaine finds it, sends it back over. And here we go. 24 23. And there it is. Dylan Fraser with a big forehand put away. Congratulations to Arizona Drive. 